Welcome, Silencer to Far Steppers, to another wonderful episode of Seven Days to Die, Semi-Nomadic. There's been a lot done in the background from grinding. Let me go ahead and take you on a tour. I'm finally getting the framing for the house finished out. As you can see, I'm experimenting with the different shapes. Uh, Cash came back and helped us get the garage set up because I couldn't figure out for the world and me how to get that door to work. Honestly, I think it just needed power. That was what it was. And we have one of the, ooh, our SUV needs to be fixed. It's down to half. Uh, I'll grab a repair kit. One of the mods we got is the quantum elevator. Uh, uh, Cass, it looks like Cass is going for kind of a sci-fi look down in, uh, for the, uh, the, uh, brain not worrying. Think they The bunker? The bunker style is sci-fi. He's done a lot of upgrades. As you can see here, some steel. He unlocked our new chest. And... Oh, and by the way, not all of that is steel. Uh, I painted it. It's all concrete, oh, but I just okay. painted it. So it looks high tier and it looks expensive, but it's just concrete. All right, why don't you get, uh, finish the tour out, uh, walk us around over here, bub, so that you can explain to the rest of them what you've, what the scientists separate what we're doing here? Yeah, so you just came from the, um, the main teleporter. It also has some crafting and drop chests in it, uh, for, like, wood, uh, uh, ingots and that kind of stuff. And then you come down here, to the right is our main storage area, where, or our main, um, entry, sort of our foyer, foyer. Uh, I'm per currently cleaning it out, but over here I intend to put a door to a hydroponic setup. Now, normally in Seven Days to Die, um, you have to have a direct access to the sky in order to grow plants. However, we have one mod installed that's called GMO, gen Genetically Modified Organisms, uh, that if you experiment with seeds, you can actually get ones that will grow underground by combining them with mushroom DNA. So we're going to be using that along with some... Uh, aesthetic grow lights to do a hydroponic setup down here. It's more realistic with the uh, snow. Anyway, um, as far as this room goes, this is actually going to be a walk-in freezer where we're going to be able to drop off uh, the food and drinks that we have. And then proceeding out the other door of the walk-in freezer, uh, this is going to be like a cafeteria style lunch room sort of thing. So this will be the counter. I'll put up some glass or something so that you can see out and, you know, just role play things. But I thought it was kind of cool. And um, and then this hallway here is just going to lead to a mess hall. So like a little cafeteria slash rec room area behind this. Um, I just I haven't dug it out yet. Um, this took a little bit <laughs> and um, <It's> a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. And then I I uh, was I started bulk crafting concrete. So I've been upgrading everything to at least concrete I accidentally upgraded one block to steel. But otherwise, everything that I can is concrete. Nice, nice. It looks really good. And as for all of us far, um, far steppers channel. The steppers, we prefer the role play side, so, especially when it comes to building. We love it when mm, forethought is put into it to create a role play setting because it's just awesome. Oh, good. I'm glad. <laughs> I was worried right. for a second that I was just being weird, but I was like, you know what? If we're going to have a bunker, we might as well have a nice one. Yeah, right? I don't want to <laughs> stay in a uh, five by ten little cave. Yeah, I'm good. I snore, I snore too loud anyway, so. <laughs> and this is still our opening here. There hasn't been a whole lot changed on it. No, the only thing I did add was a bulk, uh, a, this is a reinforced bulk blast door. That's reinforced blast door. It has like 20,000 hit points or something. Can anyone say fallout? <laughs> Uh, and then he, Cass has ultimately changes for our little fallback. Would you like to explain to him what we did here? 
Yes, so uh, all of these blocks are upgraded to concrete. This is the way in and out of the underside other than the teleporter over there. You have to crouch in order to get in. Um, and then it's got these scaffolding blocks up top, similar to what we did at the uh, horde base. Uh, the scaffolding blocks keep the zombies from being able to run in. However, I did make it three wide so that both of us can be up in this fighting position all night. Um, if this is where we have to fall back to, hopefully we don't, but I wanted to be prepared. Then, um, in case these blocks get broken out, I have these uh, doors that we can put up to maintain uh, this position. We can keep these repaired as much as we... Uh, and repair the other blocks but in case uh in case it gets kind of dodgy we can also open this so that we can swing around attack and then duck back and uh, not get hit but in the event that uh that's just not realistic uh, we can also flip these open to protect us from cop spit and vulture spit the zombies that can shoot stuff um so you know open it up dodge or let it hit and then bam get the cop right in the face and then back again yep. Free, it's well done why uh redundancy uh yeah um i try to be as redundant as possible <laughs> and as for my part uh i haven't uh framed up the individual rooms yet but as you can see it's finally starting to take shape we got two sets of stairs leading up this way. Uh, I have not decided whether we're going to put a third floor on this or not yet. That's to decide at a later date, if we continue. Uh, right here, I am going to put a big picture action window. Once I like get it. get everything set up. And half of this will be my room, and half will be Cass's room. Sweet. And if we ever get anyone else to join us on these uh, on this semi nomadic um, game, there is plenty of room to add uh, more rooms for other people. Yep, tons of room above and below ground. Yes, sir. We're doing good. God, that looks good. So, I can't wait until I'm able to get it painted and decorated. Then it's gonna look. A ton of times better. Yeah, and I'll help I'm you upgrade actually, it when it comes to it. That definitely be appreciated. Uh, I'm going to make it a log, uh, mostly a log uh, <laughs> paint job, so it looks like a log cabin with a brick base. Sweet. At least that's the game. A good plan. And, all right, I'm going to go ahead and plant some trees, Cass. And mm. I, okay. uh, do we have enough wood to make some frames? Yes, we have plenty of wood. It's down by the carpentry table. Cool, cool. Just um, try not to craft it all at once because there's quite a bit of wood. As you can see, there's uh, a lot less trees than there were last time. I noticed. My bad. Uh, so what's our game plan for today? Well, I think uh, having a second vehicle would be fantastic. Uh, we do have enough dukes to go out and get one. I'd like to probably uh, either do a van or, or maybe get the parts for your deuce and a half uh, truck. Cool. Because um, that would be a good idea. Uh, we can we can scavenge uh, or do quests if we need to, but it is day 13. The horde will be upon us tomorrow. Um, well, that was the next thing I was going to ask you. Should we go ahead and doctor up, since we did get some on our shopping trip, we did get some turrets, should we go ahead and doctor up the old, uh, the, our first horde base? Probably and a good idea, yeah. Did. Yeah, it, it would be great. I, um, I can go grab some materials, uh, some upgrade materials, and we could get it up to concrete, maybe. Yeah, that works. And then, yeah, go from there. Uh, I gotta remember where I put the damn concrete. Over the rainbow somewhere. Yeah, most likely. Um, uh, also, let's go ahead and do... Uh, grab, do you have, like, diamonds and stuff again? Yes, I should have a ton of those. Let me grab them really quick. Right. 
So that way we can go ahead and sell, and if they have a, another vehicle, we can just buy it off of them. All right, let me grab all of the goodies that I got. We got gold, uh, silver, diamonds. That sh should be everything for that. Then, um, more treasures, gold. Eh, fuck it, I'll bring that all. Um, drop chest one. Oh, by the way, these are, the, so the teleporter comes down to here. Uh, these drop chests are just for, like, when we're unloading the vehicle, we can just pop down, drop, and go back. So we can do all of the organizing in a semi-safe area. Um, until we get the garage completely, you know, patched up and whatnot. Drop chest I... one, and only one is the one that has some stuff in it. So I'm going to make sure I grab some of that. I do like the aesthetic. It makes me, it reminds me of something you would see on, uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, he cast magic. <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange? No. He was in Marvel. Uh, Our DC one, DC Universe, or Marvel Universe. He's, uh, uh, he was in Legends of Tomorrow. Ah, uh, crap! I got. Keanu Reeves originally played him. Con John, John Constantine. Yeah, John Constantine. This looks like something John Constantine would make. Oh, that's fair. All right, so I have in my inventory. 260,583 dukes, a gold ingot, 716 diamonds, 379 <laughs> silver, 281 gold, and a thousand dollars. I Next think minute. that's everything. We should have more dukes than a thousand, though. Uh, sorry, 260,583, and then dollar bills, like actual cash. Oh, dollar, dollar. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So we probably are we have at? upwards of a million. Uh, let me. I was gonna grab a repair kit for the SUV. And you might want to grab some fuel too. We are at. Let me see. Fuel. I guess I have to get into it to see what it is. Uh, no, we should be good. It's three quarters of a tank. Okay, and I have one jerry can with me. Maybe I should grab a second one. I'll grab a second jerry can and see if I have a full one. Okay. Uh, I got it to dire wolf meat. Hey, I won't turn down some dire wolf. Uh, let me, let me grab some jars too. Last time I I didn't get any water. Whoa, whoops, wrong one. I had 74 jars, so. Oh, okay. So you're probably the one with all the jars. I'll just come up then. Uh, <laughs> all right, ready when you are. They're getting a mod for it. Oh, that sucks. All right, let's see. <laughs> We'll sell all this shit to him. All right. So selling the cash for twenty three oh nine, selling all the gold for eighteen thousand, selling all the silver for eighteen thousand, and selling all the diamonds for three hundred and fifty four thousand four hundred and twenty. Wow. Uh, that leaves us with six hundred and fifty five thousand four hundred and forty three dukes. Almost enough to get almost any vehicle. Yes, except. except yeah, except. Uh, um, <laughs> they're. Uh, he doesn't sell any vehicles. Or he's not selling any vehicles right now. This one has an ambulance. Ooh, an ambulance, really? Yep. Selling for 171000 Well, I could definitely use an ambulance. Obviously, we'll have to take it back and refuel it, but. Yeah. Um, he has an ambulance for you. Whatever. Okay, let me see if Joe oh. has anything else for me. Okay. 
Z's are coming. Yeah, I, I, I hear them. Uh, see another SUV. And, uh, for rat. me. You're all good. And that looks like, yeah, just an SUV. You want to go to a different one? Well, um, what kind of vehicle would you like? Do you want to get, like, a military vehicle? Or do you want to try and find a deuce and a half and see if we can fix it up? I've got my uh, ratchet, so we could pull apart another vehicle, a couple of vehicles if we needed to. We would need the repair kit, mechan mechanical repair kit for those, so. Damn it, I left that at home. We have the truck one. I crafted three of each. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, we can always go back and grab it. And if we see a truck we like on the... If we find a truck we like, we can uh, grab it while we're on our truck, uh, checking around. Uh, yeah. It is 23.46. Yes. This is going to be a nighttime episode, I guess. Yes, we ain't done one of those yet. No, we haven't. Somehow the scorpion hit me to the vehicle. There was also a vulture. I am now bleeding. And I, infected and have laceration. Uh, I have bandages, but I don't have any... Um... Oh, shit. We stumbled on a horde. Yes, we did. And a feral one at that. Should probably stick with the weapons I'm specced into. My machete doesn't do shit. How are you doing on, uh, are you still bleeding? Nope, just infected in the last day now. Okay. I got a bunch of bandages on you. And there's a scorpion over here. I think that's everything. I also think there's a POI right over here. We're at a large board this time around. Nice cover. Trying to. Just gotta remember to watch your back. Ooh, another scorpion. Come on. I'm running at me, bitch. Make it so much easier to shoot you in the face. <laughs> hey, I'm... Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I just walked into a cactus. Scared the hell out of myself. <laughs> Let's see, I don't think I grabbed any honey. We really need to get you a silencer for your pistol. Or your gun. Yeah. I watched these guys run, like, haul ass from way out there to come get us. Oh. My favorite. 
Please die. Mm. Screamer. We were, we actually did so much in just that little firefight. Fucking hell, go down, bitch. I think she's down. I blew off her arm at least. I disarmed uh, her. Is that how we continue? Yes. I don't even know if I got what I needed from those damn bugs. Oh, you should be able to check your inventory. I did, I did. Um, I think I got exactly what I needed. Morning time. It is. Don't think we could repair that even if we wanted to. No, I just tried. See if he has some honey or something. How can I help you? I'll check this guy. And let me know, I have all the money, so I will give you everything. Ooh, here's a legendary sledgehammer. Nice. It's called Hector's Wrath. Too bad we don't have uh, almost two million. How much do we need? For what? We're doing 710,000. For what? Goodbye. Mighty dump truck. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, let's see. What else we got there? Do we need advanced repair kits? Because there's six from under me. Um. Yeah, we could get some advanced repair kits. And he does have a honey, but I don't think I have any money. Let me sell some stuff real fast. Here, just take the money from me. Take the money, man. Take it. I'll slap you in the face with it. Just tell me when you're ready to pick it up. Do, do, do. Buying honey now. All right. Uh, uh, dynamite and gold, uh, golden, uh, golden round seed, shotgun messiah, volume four. SUV. You, Go ahead. If you need it, grab it. Nope, don't need it. Okay. Um, there's a full gasoline can in there. Ooh, I'll, I'll snag that one. And I can make sure that whatever vehicle we end up with gets refueled. Queen B. Yeah, you could grab that. I'll grab whatever you want. Um. Uh, well, uh, hey, so you got chicken for sale. How many? Uh, one. Go ahead and uh, I'll buy it. Um, yeah, we need it's it for the chicken hundred. coop. Okay. <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's all he has on for me. Okay. Did you check his SUV. his yep. uh, secret stash? How can I help? Yep, that's where I found the mining truck. Okay. So there's the SUV. We the need... military four by four. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Is what this guy has for me. Yes, he had that for me too. Uh, yeah, your secret, see, your secret stash is different than mine. Yep. Mine doesn't have the truck in it. Gratitude and safe travels, friend. But I did grab the bee and Whatever the chicken and the gasoline. All right. So we continue on? Yes, indeed. Let me eat that honey real fast. Yes, please. Let's see. Uh, Jen is near us. Yes, Jen is the closest. I don't know if she'll have any vehicles, but we can always check. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know if we need to extend much, but at least one of the turrets or two would be a good Thank idea. You. Are you? Jesus. I didn't even hear you run past me. <laughs> I was holding the door for you and everything. How's it going? Here to buy. I've All got right. the best selection of medicine in the Let's see if you have any vehicles. 
Well, Jen doesn't even have a vehicle. God damn. Are you still lacerated? Yes, sir. Hour and 47 minutes. Okay, then I will sew you up here in a moment. God damn, she doesn't have anything. Uh, he has an old van. I hope you come back and see I don't want... Good. I, I don't want one of the creeper vans. Okay. It has That's a cargo true. limit of 2,500. Yes, the ambulance has a cargo limit of 3,000. Oh, nice. Okay, I just sewed you up. You're no longer lacerated. Very well. Thank you, thank you. And I'll go see if Jen has anything special for me. Okay. And you can check with that, dude. Okay. May I see your inventory, good sir? Uh, nothing there. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with my secret stash? I don't have any of the secret stash you do. I don't know. Maybe from how you got uh, from your okay. specs. Maybe. I mean, I've got the, like, daring adventure and, and a lot of selling points, but... I didn't think that would make that big of a difference. Uh, there's uh, a sedan and a go-kart. I don't think we need another sedan, and I certainly don't want to ride around in a go-kart. <laughs> uh, can I get... Uh, well, I don't need that. We can already build drone cargoes, right? Yes, and I already crafted you one for your drone. Okay, cool, cool. All right, where to next? Which button are you hitting for that? Thanks. Okay. Right. I'm going to go check the uh, other guy. All right. We, uh, he's selling two sedans. How can I help you? I want to buy this damn robot. Right? Uh, you know how you were talking about helicopters? Uh-huh. There's one in here for 285000 We have more than enough for that. Yep. What's its weight carrying capacity? Let's see. Speed is 82.8 kilometers an hour. Uh, fuel take 240. Jeez. Cargo slot 72, cargo limit 800, seats four people, needs a superior repair kit. All right, well, we can go ahead and nab that. All right. They seeing you. We can probably throw it in the SUV. I hope so. Oh, this is the Raven. This isn't the military helicopter. Do you want to? Do you want to get this one, or do you want to do the military helicopter? Uh, up to you. We could do, well, we got enough money. We could do both, actually. We probably could. Um, the military helicopter, if I'm, yeah, uh, the military helicopter has a limit of 3,500. Uh, carry weight? Yeah. That'd be much better than another helicopter. Well, then why don't we just save for that? Because then we can outfit it with whatever we need. Gotcha. Where you at? Hey. So freaking sneaky. <laughs> so you can make self kill games. <laughs> Alright, let's head to our horde base. Take a look at it and then we up oh, wait, gotta get out real fast. Antidote please. Do what? Antidote please. Oh yes, sorry. Are you still at under twenty five percent? Yep, 23.8. Okay, go ahead and take that. That's a pretty stunning base. It worked really good, so I'm glad that we're coming back to it. Yeah. You, it, you know what it reminds me of? What? Uh, a lift, a farmer lift for, like, grain or beets. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. You know, I don't think we need to upgrade too much, but... Uh, take maybe... it up to concrete, at least. Yeah, we could do that. I think and we. Then, I, I think I have enough concrete. I I think I have enough concrete for that. If I don't, we can buy some. And then I think 
put a couple turrets up there on the top. Um, where, where are you going to put the generator? The generator we can put right, right here. Okay. But uh, I was thinking we could put straight up on the top, you know where you got the three bricks up there? Yeah. And then we could put, uh, put like, try not to die, put like uh, right here on the side, build out two blocks and have a turret there. And do the same over there, have a turret there. That way it crossfires. Okay. And the ones up top, you can take care of the birdies. Okay. How's that do you, sound? Do you think we're going to need all that? Uh, maybe. And the only reason I ask is because I know we can't pick them up after we put them down. Oh, uh, you can pick turrets up after you put them down. Oh, I... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then I was just backwards. Uh, now you can't pick up the electrical uh, things once you put them down. And I don't think you can pick the traps up once you put them down, too. Got it. Yeah. All right. So we have some work to do. Yeah. yeah. So we can uh, head back to the base. Just uh, make sure you don't. Uh, there you go. You're good. I was going to say, don't go crashing through the top of the house. Aww. There we go. All right. So first things first, grab, oh wait. I have a shit ton of valuable stuff. Let me, yeah, we should definitely look for other, um, other traders after Horde night. Gotcha. Just because you got a lot more stuff to sell? No, I want to see if we can find that helicopter. Cool, cool. Or the plane. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You said it's a C-130, right? I believe so. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I do believe it's... Uh... The military uh, cargo plane. Sweet. Okay, so... Mitch, we got plenty of food. Awesome. Yeah, I guess with all that... Um... What the hell is it called? Uh, with all with all the meat that you just got from like the Baron stuff. I got forty eight meat for that, but we have a total of three hundred and sixty five raw meat in the uh, freezer. Damn the ice machine. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we don't have enough eggs, though. Oh, we don't? Uh, sorry about that. We only had, like, six more eggs. Um. And I'm about to, uh, make three more, uh, bacon and eggs, so that takes us out of that. Um, I... I think if we can get one more chicken, we can make the chicken coop. Cool, cool. We'll have to keep an eye open for it. Uh, we want our turrets. Yes, and I was actually just looking for them. I, I don't see them. Oh, yeah, be somewhere. Oh, wow. Technically, they don't have to. They could have just straight up glitched out, but... 
I hope it didn't. It's changed, but it wouldn't be the first time. That's true. Yeah, the shotgun shells. Found them. Where were they? Uh in the bottom box by the cardboard boxes. Got it. Wouldn't have thought to look there. Um we want we're gonna want four, right? Uh four of the turrets? That's up to you. I'm not quite sure I know your vision. Because if we left the battery in the car, then yes, I have everything. I'm just grabbing my... And we wanted to use our bikes, right, you said? Uh, when we go get the truck, yeah. We can use the SUV for now. All right. Because it's 1,600 already. Good night. We are going to be hard-pressed to... Whoop, shit. To get that done, but... Uh... Oh, I still need, I need, I need bricks. Concrete? No, bricks. Um. Alright, she's barking up the wrong tree. Uh, eh. Yeah. I don't see that we have the materials to upgrade, but I can bring the materials to repair at least. You still there? Yep, sorry. You got me going. Got it. <laughs> got really quiet all of a sudden. I apologize. I'm zombie killing. No, you're totally fine. Um Yeah, we're gonna be hard pressed to um to do anything other than repair our other base. We'll get it, though. We just don't have uh, the materials for it. I can't find the generators to save my damn life. I got one. Okay, did you get an engine for it? I did one of the compact engines. Okay, and I have two and a half things of fuel. Do you have wires and a wire tool? I did not. Those should be in the chest. Yes, they are. I will go grab them. I heard them beating on the my uh, on our house, so I had to come up and get them before they broke stuff. Oh, that's totally fine. And you've got the turrets. I do. Do you have ammo for them? Yep, I got a thousand shotgun ammo. Oh, you got the shotgun turrets. Okay. Oh, yeah, I figured that'd be the easiest one. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hell, even if we only had one of those down in the middle of the base, it should be fine. It should be a bad kit to repair. An advanced one? Yeah, they repaired a Jeep. Okay, I... I, or not Jeep, SUV. <laughs> I just came across one of those. Um, no, I just gotta find it again.
Um, All right, I got my carry way up to 215. Sweet. Well, while we're here, I might as well go repair my armor. That would probably be good. No. Where is our maintenance table? Uh, it is in a box. No, I don't remember where. Right. Did you grab a wiring tool? Yep, and I have some wire too. I don't right, think we're going to have time for it, but we'll do what we can. Yeah. So should we uh, call this episode here and meet everybody back at the Horde base? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. All right. Then uh, thank you very much, Steppers and Silencers, for joining us today because uh, we're running short on time and long on recording. Uh, we will see you guys in the next episode at the Horde base for the Day 14 Horde. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and we'll see you in the next one. Yes, uh, as I like said, thank you, scientists and steppers. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit the record. If you have any suggestions, hit comment. And please uh, go check out Cass's channel at Control Alt Silence. Uh, you'll enjoy if you enjoy this content. You'll definitely enjoy his. Talk to you then.